Hello, good morning. Uh, I'm very happy to be here and talk about from, about the subject that um, is very, very essential to me. Um, um, you have my um, address here, and you have the uh, websites that I write, and where well, my dissertation is throughout it. Um, but I work on Lara Fulfred, uh, teaching learning for peace. It's called learning for peace. Um, a theory of peace from deterrence to common security. Uh, we have today everything ha we have to do everything today to stop the Ukrainian war. In Ukraine, the nuclear powers confront each other. A coming world world war will not be like the second world war because of the nuclear weapons. Uh, I believe that explicit and implicit threat of nuclear assault is a contributing factor behind the Ukrainian war through Russian fear, uh, uh, Russian fear of getting American nuclear weapons right up to its borders. Ukraine as a coming NATO state, is a red line to Russia, expressed since 2007. This war could have been prevented. Uh, we did not have leaders to stop the escalation. The way of thinking which I, has led us to the brink of nuclear catastrophe is of the kind, of the kind that I will here call the power paradigm. Notice period to decide whether a nuclear assault is real or a mistake is down to 10 minutes. This is scary to anyone, also to Russians. The war in Ukraine shows us that military de de deterrence does not work. To have and to threaten with nuclear weapons might start war rather than keeping it away. We have to think differently, prepare for peace and not war. Through mistake or conscious or unconscious escalation, the first bomb will be brought to that will be brought to explode followed by, will be followed by retaliation. We have to think anew and stop the wars. Enormous sums are spent on investing in arms resources that needs for human welfare and to eradicate poverty and of, uh, against nuclear warming. The talk of collective security, that is, will like-minded against the enemy, Russia or China, we have to re return from that to Olof Palme's concept of common security, which means that no one is safe is if not all are safe. No one is safe if not all are safe. This is what Russia demanded and cried out for just a month before the irregular and horrific invasion of Ukraine. However, the foreign minister Lavrov uh, met with humiliation. Close to the mic, please. He met with humiliation when he weeks before the invasion wrote to the foreign ministers of the EU asking for a quick reply from each one of them referring to exactly this, which we could have recognized as common security. If we had li listened and not turned, as we did, a, a blind eye to this, Russia would have been treated as an equal with the same yardstick. John Barton, the father of human needs theory, who in 1964 in London founded the Center for the Analysis of Conflict, showed that human needs have to be met to prevent violence and escalation of violence, that deterrence does not work, and that there are important similarities between conflicts at the micro and macro levels. Or here is a score. We'll, we'll skip that. No, I think it should have been the first. Yes. Once one denies the traditional assumption 
about the malleability of human nature and, and asserts the existence of some human needs that will be pursued regardless of circumstances, some important insights emerge into the nature of conflict, its resolution and prevention. Um, he used a new word, prevention. It may, comes from promote and prevent. Deterrence theory, the basis of domestic enforcement and international strategies, is undermined because deterrence can't deter in conditions in which human needs are frustrated. And this is totally forgotten. And this is why it is so dangerous, the situation in which we are. Uh, there are similarities between, between conflicts at the global and those at the local level. And you, you can see a personification such as, as blame, accusations, and the conflict grows, the conflict issues increase, old unfairness and com contact cease, alliances, preconceptions, trust is torn to shreds. That is polarization. This is in lo local and global conflicts, very similar. Uh, now we go to the essence of all this. You will see, and this is my, I hope it won't be tedious to you, but this will help you to see the difference between the, thing, the way of thinking today all over the place, unfortunately, uh, in media and politics and everything. So on, the, on your right hand side, you have the power paradigm, and on the left hand side, emerging paradigm, the emerging paradigm, or the non-violent paradigm. We have to go from one thinking to another, and it, we've got to do it fast. And we could work on this together. Once it, it gets into your head, it's difficult to get it out. But it takes time, because it's so different. Conflict, if you, the, the old traditional way of thinking is conflicts are negative and should be avoided. There is another defi defi definition of conflict. Violence may be regarded as just physical violence and sometimes only as armed, com armed, vi armed violence. On the, the other way of thinking is that conflicts are necessary for growth and life. Depends how we handle it, if it's bad or positive. A broad definition of conflict leads to increased preparedness to act. We can act fast uh, more quickly when we see it goes the wrong way. The handling of conflict determines the outcome. We have different units of analysis. The nations, regions, institutions and structures are in focus in the old way of thinking. Conflicts at micro, macro levels are essentially separate. They are handled differently. Deterrence, threats and coercion are used to reach goals. This is very, very different from the, the way I am propagating for uh, and the emerging paradigm. The individual and in identity group are the units of analysis. Basic needs of individuals are in focus. This applies also to groups. Basic needs. Conflicts at the micro macro levels have many things in common. They are handled in accordance with the same principles. Deterrence, threat and coercion are not effective since they give rise to resistance and reduce trust. Um, security, of course, is a very important um, co um, a basic need. Uh, and many others, like, uh, well, I don't uh, take time for that. Reasons of conflict are scarcity of resources and the aggressiveness of nations, groups and humans. That is the old way of thinking. But on the other, you can think very differently if you see that the core of the problem is that humans feel their basic needs are threatened. This determines how conflicts are handled and escalation is avoided. Basic needs, 
such a security, here you have them, some, many of them, security, recognition, belonging, and meaning, understanding. Herein lies the opportunity for win-win solutions, because this cake is, can be increased. The more I give, the more I get. Um, positions, in the old way of thinking, are stated. Declared issues are those on which settlement is thought, sought, uh, sometimes as a compromise. This without taking into account needs, values and concerns. In the emerging paradigm, or the way of thinking on the left hand side here, you see underlying needs, values and concerns are sought through analysis of the situation. Think of the Ukrainian war. The analysis of the situation here and what has happened before is regarded as Russian propaganda. So you see many things here so connected to the Ukrainian war. The particular fear and the steam needs, identity, are taken into account. Fear and the steam needs, what you need and you, what you don't want, they are all taken into account. The, uh, the power paradigm, the what, realpolitik, it's called. The other part is, it's not very realistic, we are getting the way out of uh, what we want. The other part is looked upon as adversary or enemy. The responsibility lies with the other part. The contact may be broken. Breaking the contact is often used for pressure, for instance, sanctions or blockades. I'm glad it's not the red one. <laughs> the emerging party is looking upon as part, partly in solving the conflict. The problem is separated from a person or group of persons viewed as the other party. The responsibility is common. Common problem solving is looked for. The content is kept to solve the problem. You'll see that the way of handling conflict in a constructive way is very similar if you do it uh, the, right, the right way, at the micro and macro levels. Uh, actually, I think I will leave, uh, there are more of these, but you have them all, all here, uh, uh, in an article that I put, it's enough for everyone, I think, how many are there? Uh, about, more than 50, about 50. And, uh, I'll show you, this one is there, it's about power, power over and domination and how you can think instead. It's about the need for trust and confidence and how you avoid power play. But this one is um, lacking in the one, the other one, because there was not room for it in the article. Uh, and, the, and it's got to do very, very much with non-violence, uh, how you... Um, you non-violent. Um, our hierarchical structure where power comes from above. That's the thing, way of thinking about the authority. And emerging paradigm, authority rests on values related to the relations where those in power are dependent on the government. That is a bottom-up perspective. None is powerless since there is a reciprocity of the the dependency between both ways. And that is this we skip. Uh, traditional security policy leads to the opposite of security. It leads to this insecurity, escalation, waste of resources, militarist refugee streams, climate change, and environmental degradation, risk of nu nuclear war. Climate change and environmental degradation will <coughs> increase the problem. This is why we, can't, we have to change the thinking. So let us benefit. This is what I really think is important. <laughs> I feel support from this, I'm so much. <laughs> let us benefit from knowledge of conflict resolution at the micro level. Imagine all the knowledge we have and then use it in, in um, uh, politics, security policy, politics. The macro level, security politics, have much to learn from behavioral science. I'm 
we have to keep to you and chocolate, piece by piece for minutes. Thank you for the attention.